Glasgow, the second city of the Industrial Revolution. A city of change, a city of architecture, the 1990s city of culture and now the proud hosts of the 2014 Commonwealth Games. The Commonwealth Games is a momentous moment in the long history of this great city. So, on behalf of the 2014 committee and the leader of Glasgow City Council, it is with great pleasure that I welcome the director of the opening and closing ceremonies, Quentin Livingston. Thank you for that wonderful introduction and hello Scotland! I've always wanted to say that. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Quentin Livingston is one of Scotland's most talented, unique and avant-garde artists and he will put on a show that will rival anything seen previously at the Commonwealth Games. It truly is a great pleasure to be selected for this iconic in my humble opinion, historical role. Safe to say this production will rival anything seen by any director in Scotland before. And I include Danny Boyle in that statement. Danny Boyle's English. How preposterous! Have you seen any of his films? I've worked with Danny in Edinburgh on a number of occasions and I can assure you he's 100% Scottish. Thank you, Quentin. Uh, we will now formally open the floor to questions. So we have an Edinburgh director for the Glasgow Games who thinks a very famous Englishman is in fact Scottish. For me, Glasgow is more edgier than Edinburgh. I want to capture the rawness of violence, the unadulterated unhealthiness of the whole place. I want to capture that in my ceremony in a giant tartan clad time capsule. We were under the impression that it was going to be a modern games and that we would be seeing Glasgow and Scotland in a new and dynamic way. Should we not be trying to shift away from stereotypes? Glasgow will shine. <laughs> After all, we are smiles better. Nothing has been ruled out, but I can assure the people of Glasgow this will be a tremendous show that will change their lives forever. Why are you so confident that you think you know what the people of Glasgow want? During the last six months, I have totally immersed myself in Glaswegian culture. I swapped my Morningside townhouse for the shabby, chic, raw bohemian ghetto of Highland. It was during this time that I blended in and became one of you, a Glaswegian. In fact, the baristas at my local coffee house have engaged me in the Glaswegian vernacular. Highland? Are you for real? This is an absolute joke. Do you honestly believe the West End is a true representation of the people of Glasgow? You can't compare one elite neighbourhood to the rest of the city. Glasgow is incredibly diverse. What about Dunmanock, Tollcross? I've never been to these places. This is about Glasgow, not the Highlands and Islands. This will be a wonderful time for the people of Glasgow. A time to be proud, a time to shine. With an estimated budget of only £1 million, how do you think you're going to rival the epic scenes we saw at the Olympic Games in London? Listen, let's not get hung up on the figures. These games are for the people of Glasgow. Yeah, Danny's a great director, but take away train spotting in Shallow Grave. What's he ever done for the people of Glasgow? Nothing. Okay, we'll have one final question from the floor as we really need to wrap things up now. Uh, yes, you. <laughs> now, make it a good one. <laughs> Thanks. Um, I'd just like to ask Quentin a very Glaswegian question. Um, is it true that you're a pure roaster? I don't think that is a very appropriate question. Uh, thank you ladies and gentlemen of the press. That will be all for now. Uh, we will be keeping uh, the rest of the arrangements uh, a secret uh, so as not to spoil the surprise for the people of Glasgow, uh, the Commonwealth and the world. The 2014 committee will be releasing a full statement this afternoon. Memo to self, ask Mike at local coffee house, what is a pure roaster? Journalists are always going to be critical, that's their, that's their job. Um, if they would just get the facts straight, that would help. Um, but you can't, you know, you can't get everything in life. Well, Glasgow has a long tradition of being innovative and inventive. 
Yes, inventive. That's the word I'm looking for. Inventive. Absolutely inventive. And I think Quentin has embraced that part of Glasgow about his uh, his, his entire vision for the uh, for the uh, the program that he's uh, putting forward. Definitely, he's got he's got, definitely got a vision. He's got a vision and. Previously, I said before, he is certainly avant-garde, I did mention that in one of my opening statements. And I think what he has presented is definitely uh, out there and appropriate for Glasgow. I work for a PR agency based in London, obviously, um, called Scotty Dogs, yeah. and I'm the top dog. Um, and you know, there really wasn't any choice when it came to uh, employing our agency that it was going to be me who would be coming north of the border um, to take on the challenge of the, the Commonwealth Games. When I graduated from Stowe College in uh, the early 2000s, I felt that <clears throat> that really was a launching pad for me to get into what I really like, which is administration of things. And, and it was really that and my work as, as, as a barista that, that got me involved really quite heavily in the Commonwealth Games because Glasgow has become like a third home for me and it's it's a place I feel very welcome uh, in the West End and but it's just more than anything it's, it's a chance to to give back to 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 these people who have given me. Being in Glasgow for the 2014 Games has been like amazing because you know it's so different from London. I mean everyone here is kind of boring so I kind of feel like we've become local celebrities and you know we're showing them fashion because they don't really know about it. And yeah um, we've come up on a few blog spots about the games and stuff I mean, there's stuff about the athletes and whatever, but I really feel like we're becoming the stars of the games and it's really important to set an example and, you know, show the people of Glasgow that they can be part of the world. Yes, the 2014 Games, what does that mean to me? Mm, I suppose it means it's a chance to intellectually dumb down and, you know, I'm from Morningside, so when I came through to Glasgow, I didn't want people to think I was different, so... Uh, you know, the punctuation's gone, the grammar's gone, and again, trying to blend in. I've put on like an extra forty pounds. Uh, the trousers are slightly tight, and as you can see, the jacket doesn't quite fasten. What's the point of here? You see, the point is being able to fit in with the Glaswegian. That's right. I'm pure Glaswegian. So much, and and just just to show the world that this city. Is 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 full of potential. I have a novel idea for our brainstorming sessions. If you have an idea, you must place the Viking hat on your head. Tell us what you see, tell us what you feel, tell us what you think. If you have an idea, but someone else has the Viking hat on, you must wear the fez. This lets us know that you are second in line. What happens if we all have ideas? Are we going to do this all the time? Because I like to wear hats to work and I don't want to cause confusion by people thinking I want to ask a question when all I want to do is show off my new headgear. Sorry. Hmm. Viking hats and fez hats are for question only. All other hats are to be deemed as personal use. Are we clear? Clear. Clear. Hmm. Okay, I've been doing lots of research into the, the acts and famous Scots that I want at my opening ceremony. So I'm just going to fire them off to you and you let me know if they're available. Rod Stewart. Uh, Rod's not available, uh, though we have managed to secure Darius mm -hmm. and he's not going to cost a lot because uh, he's back in Bearsdale after breaking up with that hot chip from Species. Mm, wonderful! I can just see it. Darius singing 
medley of wet, wet, wet hits. I think we can actually get wet, wet, wet for that. Memo to self, check with the 2014 committee. Does the insurance bond have Marty Pellow cover? Hey, about Sean Connery. <laughs> uh, he's fully booked. He's on Clan Chief duties at the Bahamas Highland Games that weekend. Okay. Jared mm. Butler. Is he not American? I thought he was Irish. <laughs> No, because he's done that terrible Irish accent and he says, I love you. He's definitely mm. American. Mm. My brother studied law with him at Glasgow University. Well, no, I saw him in Jonathan Ross. He is definitely American. Memo to self. Was Gerard Butler an international student at Glasgow Uni? Coldplay. Are they not English? I'm sure they're Scottish. My cousin went to St Andrews with the bass player. Well, there are actually a lot of bands from Scotland who would probably be more suitable. Like Franz Ferdinand and, and Frightened Rabbit and Biffy Clyro. We need something big that speaks to the world that says, This is Glasgow! I'm thinking tartan terrorism. A veritable cornucopia that will dazzle and delight. I think we should avoid the term terrorism. Mm. Why can't we reclaim it? Reclaim it for something good. Uh, like love bombing. Uh, uh, I think the words terrorist and bomb are a little bit risque mm -hmm. for a huge public event. Uh, we want to promote a safe, happy, happy. games. Memo to self, check if Tartan Terrorism is a brand, if not, register the domain name for potential future use. It could be a snappy title for the referendum campaign. Second note to self, regarding Tartan Terrorism, contact SNP regarding staging opening ceremony of Scottish Parliament. Sheila Easton, Lulu, um, we've got Glenn Michael from the Cavalcade, uh, Frederico from Big Brother, Shell Soup Bob from River City, and the the little ginger guy that was in Taggart. Uh, oh, Supergram, Dennis Law, and the Crankies all booked for the opening ceremony. We need more music. Mm. Who else do we have? Um, we are still in talks with the Proclaimers and um, Midge O, the wee guy who sang Donald's Where's Your Trousers, Trousers, and um, Travis, Delamitri, Dean Parks and Subo's people got back to us with the flat now. I need a big headline act for the fireworks show. Yeah, I've been meaning to talk to you about that. Uh, we can only afford a 2 minutes 46 second firework display. 2 minutes 46 seconds? Uh, yes. You overspent uh, in other areas of the show. It's all we can afford. So I need to find an iconic Scottish band with a hit song that lasts 2 minutes 46 seconds? Let the search begin.
I got it. I've just heard the sound that's going to define these games. We need to find man milk. Q-Dog, Q-Dog, uh, I found one of the band members, uh, yeah, on, on the Fringe website. Oh, the, fring, the, the Fringe in Edinburgh? Yeah, yes. Oh, wonderful, the, 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 wonderful. The, the, um, back home. He, he is uh, doing a spoken word poetry, yeah, a poetry corner. What's the deal with you and your glasses? I've told you before, if you're going through your glasses, it's fine for photo shoots, walking down the street or whatever. But if they interfere with you trying to, you know, just, just, okay, just, thank you, yeah, yeah, right. That's venue 42. Venue, uh, which one's that? The one that's number 42. <laughs> uh, I don't know Edinburgh. Yes, yes, if you, oh, when can we go? Um, can you come out with your please? Thank I you. could book us tickets for next Tuesday. Yeah, 46, and? Venue 42. Yeah. Next Tuesday. I tried to use your website, but no, it was rubbish. Natasha. No, it was really rubbish. And I just want to confirm Penny that we actually Strish. got that. Yeah. Okay, that's no, she's you. recently no, single. No, 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 no. That's not what I mean. I mean, but three tickets. Of course, she's going to be on Match.com. Looking is under your face, okay? Possible? Your face, your ugly no, face. No, 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 and the no. Front. Rubbish. Well, okay then. Right. Okay, okay. That's There once was a man, a man from a foreign land. Oh, I knew this. You know something, right? It's typical. It's like you come to me in Edinburgh, you say, hey there, guy, I'm really interested in you. Any chance we could get a little interview, have a little bit of a chat? I'm thinking to myself, yes, yeah, sure, Poetry Connell's on the up, as we all know it is. I know that you're going to fire a few questions at me about my milk, right? I'm not stupid. I'm not stupid. I know my history. I know where I'm from, right? And then you start hitting me with this kind of stuff. So, it's about my milk then. Is that what it is? Is that what you're telling me? Well, yeah. To be honest, the question we really want to ask you is, we have been asked to come here on behalf of Quentin Livingston, who is the creative director of the 2014 Commonwealth Games, which is taking place in Glasgow next next year, your, your hometown. Sure. And what we'd really like to ask is, they're looking for a song which is 2 minutes 46 seconds to play during the, the final fireworks display of the opening ceremony. Scotland the Wraith. And yes, Scotland the Wraith fits the bill. Would, would there be any way that you could reconsider and um, get back with your brother to play at such an iconic gig? Listen, guy, I've not spoken to my brother in quite some time. Jerry was getting too big for his boots. Or, as you would call them, his Chelsea boots. And, uh, Jerry wanted to go down a different path than I wanted to. and. To me that path was scary and I, I thought we were onto a good thing. We were doing really well, selling out places, but Jerry just wasn't happy with that. He was just like, kept saying, but what about me? But what about me? 
you know, I just don't think he understood that, you know, we were in it together. Yeah, sure, I did all the work, wrote the songs, did the music, organised the lighting at the shows, you know, I did all the groundwork, and all Jerry had to do was walk out on stage, hold the microphone in mine, but somehow that wasn't enough for him. If he's interested in having a chat and he's interested in getting back together then there's a possibility there of us doing something together only if I can get an opportunity to do Poetry Corner there as well that would be my only rule that would be like it to get it out there Well obviously we're just, we're just the, the documentary crew here but we would be asking um, Quentin this on your behalf and also Quentin works for a committee who are part of Classic City Council so the person who could give you the final answer on that would be the 2014 committee but what we'd really like to know is would you would you like to play some hits including Scott and the Rave at the open ceremony? Well I tell you what Guy why don't you go away have a little chitty chatty with this Quentin Tarantino and get back to me. Schnizzle. We've got a tremendous lineup of the 2014 Commonwealth Games. Tremendous, tremendous. Oh, blow Danny Boyle show out of the water. We haven't actually finalised the face, mm, face of the games. So, I've scheduled a casting for tomorrow. Great, great. I want to encapsulate what it means to be a Glaswegian in 2014. Hello there. How are you? My name's Jack. Jack. Uh, oh, oh! <laughs> Thanks for that. How are you? My name's Jack. Quentin. It's an absolute pleasure. You are there. Uh, Astrid. A absolutely, challenging Astrid. Uh, Ooh, that traffic's a bear, right? <laughs> what makes you a good candidate to be the face of 2014? Yeah, well, you know, uh, the, uh, the committee said that I should uh, attend this, uh, this little meeting that we've been having. Uh, but uh, I'm, a, I'm a bowler uh, by, 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 uh, by sports trade, and I'm a part time welder as well. I like it, I like it. A link to the industrial past. Would you be willing to uh, say have a photo of you tap half perhaps welding a bowling pin? I, I don't think it's that kind of bowling. It's like it's not ten pin. It's lawn bowls. Very kitsch. Preposterous, preposterous. Thanks for telling me I have table tennis in the games. Uh, we got a table yeah. tennis player booked for tomorrow. Uh, yeah. Nonsense, nonsense. Track and field, that's a poster child of the 2014 games. Yeah. We need the Scottish Sprinters. Uh, so, so I take it you will be needing me then? Um, we could put you in a spear. It's a bowling term. Yes, for 10 pin bowling, yeah. Diddy. Okay, Jack, you've certainly got the background to be the face of 2014. But the thing is, we need you to make these products come alive. So we're going to do an exercise. Eight years going to give you some props. I'm going to take you on a journey, and I just want to, you know, let yourself be free like a coat running through the hills. Okay, I'll, I'll give that a go. I've always wanted to be free. Oh, yes. Thanks for that. Well, okay, you look very smart there about your dad. I like that. So, you wake up, you're in the house, and at the end of your bed, see your, your, your other half, perhaps your, uh, you know, your wife. Oh, Veronica. Veronica, yes. Veronica's bought you a scarf. She's bought you this wonderful hat and she's bought you the salt tire, okay? Oh, Veronica, what about us to deserve such gifts? Yeah. Okay, so shake it, shake it like you're happy, shake it like you're happy. Oh, shake it like one of these rat rats. Yeah, that's it, yeah, shake I'm it, shake it, shake it. I'm Dr. Shake Snoops. It. Oh, you're excited, you're going to be going to the games, yeah. So you're leaving the house, you've locked the front door, you're walking along the street, all your friends are looking at you, yes. They're jealous, you've got these things and they haven't. Wave them at them, make them jealous, make them jealous. That's right, look at their faces, they're so angry. Okay, now you get to the train station, there's a bunch of meds there, they're looking at you. You just wave, wave, wave your flag, show me a patriotic, and then if you can just shout freedom for me. 
Freedom! That's it, that's it. We'll keep, we'll keep you in the reserve list and we'll maybe get back in contact with you at some point. Would that be okay? So, will I get paid for that? No, I'm afraid we only have a budget for printing and advertising, not for the actual star of the poster. Uh, well, as long as it, uh, as it doesn't interfere with my, uh, my, my, my welding work, then uh, uh, fair news. Thanks for coming along. Well, it's been absolute pleasure. Yes. Okay, so. uh, I'm going to touch your hands again, bro. Uh, Not my spell. Yeah. Ah, don't touch me. It's been absolute pleasure. Oh, high five. Don't touch me. I'll see you after. 2014's opening ceremony. After the athletes have left the village, the stadium descends into darkness. You see a light coming from the tunnel. Down the tunnel descends the crankies. One is in a Shetland pony, the other is in a Kyle's Day horse. They come into the centre circle to an open welcome from the stadium. After the national anthem, there is an announcement to the audience to reach under their chairs and take out their great lunch boxes, which contain a sausage roll, a can of iron brew, and a macaroon bar. We then start the big countdown in the stadium, which ends in a crescendo of cans opening. Then, we ask if there's a Jeannie McAdam or, or some such name, and invite her down onto the pitch, where we give her one hundred pounds of farm food vouchers. <laughs> we then have a big laser light show that illuminates the sky. We see a searchlight, a bit like the one in Batman, picking up a RAF Hercules plane, flying over. It drops a big massive haggis right onto the pitch. As the haggis floats safely down on its parachute, the song Nothing Ever Happens by Delamitri is playing. The chorus of this song is then a cue for all the extras from Braveheart and Rob Roy to charge onto the pitch shouting, Glasgow! They then use a claymore to cut the giant haggis into bite-sized portions. We will then have Boy Scouts and Brownies hand out bit-sized pieces of the haggis to all the assembled athletes. Huh. Then a personal friend of mine, Darius, will sing a medley of Scottish songs. As he sings, Travis, why does it always rain in me? We see a fountain of iron brew, a bit like the Bellagio style in Vegas. Bellagio style dancing fountain comes up from the pitch and sprays iron brew. It also fills a makeshift river on the racetrack. At this point, a scale model of the QE2, possibly made of macaroons, sails into view for everyone to see. And when the QE2 births, it unloads whiskey barrels onto the dockside, uh, symbolising Glasgow's trading history. Uh. <laughs> then we have a procession of Scots inventors and pioneers, all lookalikes, they walk down the gangplank onto the dockside. The running track is then filled with hundreds of mobility scooters covered in tartan. This is then followed by OAPs pulling tartan trolleys behind them. Then we have local characters that will be taps off, weather permitting. After that we'll have a procession of shell suits from 1980 right up until the present day, modelled by prisoners from the Day Release Programme. Then onto the running track comes hundreds of Celtic and Ranger supporters, like a gang scene in Greece. They stalk and skulk around the stadium in a meeting in the middle. And just when a mass brawl seems inevitable, the proclaimers are brought in on a sedan chair carried by Partick Thistle fans, all singing 500 miles. This is a cue for all of the fans to hug and dance in unison and not fight. The proclaimers then leave the pitch, the lights come down and then the big laser show starts. Band melt into the stage and play their greatest hits including Scotland the rave. As they do the fireworks go off. Then all the lights come on blind and it's like the end of a Glasgow party. At this point a flotilla of mother's pride flatbed lorries filled with corned beef sandwiches enters the stadium with people dressed as tonics tea cakes launching the sandwiches into the crowd while shouting no they've all got butter on them then the stadium announcer says that's your taxi outside and people filter out of the stadium show over
team. We need to find man milk. Without Scotland, the baby have nothing. Tomorrow, the search begins. Guys, this is a really important point in your career. It's pivotal. What about letting bygones be bygones? Come back and play the Commonwealth Games. You know, don't let the milk turn sour. What do you think? I'm happy to let bygones be bygones. Forget all about Helsinki. If Jerry's okay with that, I'm okay with that. Jerry, what do you think? Come back and headline my big show at the games? What do you say? Jerry. There once was a man. Oh. Guys, come on, let's be adults here, come on, no fighting, no fighting, no fighting!